We've come to LA to meet a group of technologists and designers who under the umbrella of a company called Applied Minds are designing a high-tech future for all of us. Perhaps the most elaborate invention to date has been basically a glorified Winnebago. Imagine the entire weight of America's military industrial complex applied to a camper van, and what you end up with is the Kira van. The Kira van is the brainchild of polymath designer Bran Ferren, who dreamt up the adventure juggernaut to give his six-year-old daughter Kira the chance to explore outer reaches of the earth. To me, the ability to combine art and science design, engineering, and experiencing those take your breath away moments of our amazing world, there's nothing better. Is this marriage between high-tech transport and outstanding nature a match made in heaven? Or have the Kiravan's designers lost sight of the wood for the trees during the five years it's taken to build it? Brand did visual effects for Hollywood movies before heading up Disney's Imagineerium, designing their theme parks. His own company, Applied Minds, was founded in 2000. His latest creation has been described by some as a Swiss Army knife on wheels, and we went to meet him at their headquarters, where he'd show off his pimped out ride. So this is named after you, Kira. Where did the name Kira come from? Well, Mommy and Daddy were talking about it and said, oh, that sounds like a nice name. <laughs> it's a very complicated <laughs> process. One of the things that stands out the most, and I guess is different from you know, a truck that you might see on the street, is these enormous masts. What do they do? Well, it turns out there are a lot of things that are useful to get up high. That one is a gyro-stabilized imager, which does either high-definition color or can switch to thermal imaging. So you have a day-night, long-distance view down a road. Electro-optical ports here, thermal imager looks at the road, measures road temperature, can see conditions such as black ice, 4K cameras, laser mapping systems for the road, and long-range sensors. If you're crossing a river, there is a log underwater that is in your way. You can take and plug a hydraulic chainsaw in, which operates underwater, and can cut that. And then this is a multi-purpose lift for the rear, which at the moment has a carrier for a motorbike on it. It's a turbo diesel motorcycle. It'll travel 100 miles per hour, and with the onboard fuel, gets a 500 mile driving range. Just been invited to ride the bike. No pressure. <laughs> yeah, I've ridden motorbikes before. I've never ridden one where I feel that if I crash it, I'm ruining someone's dreams. I hope it wasn't anything I did. Take two. While the bike is meant to act as a sort of life raft to the Kira van, while it's parked up in a remote desert somewhere, on an industrial estate in LA, it was beginning to feel like I'd been invited round to a very rich friend's house to play with their exciting toys. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? Here is the main entryway. This is nicer than my flat back in London. <laughs> Mapping, precision navigation, charting areas, geology, all of these systems are capable of doing that. The real point is, there is no one intended use of this system. So if you're a film crew, or if you're doing a documentary, or if you're a paleontologist, or if you're a photographer, it's designed to be configurable to do what you need to support those kinds of activities. So this is kitchen. Some so, baked snack cheddar, isn't there? Exactly. Essentials. <laughs> All the essentials when you're of in the life. Of nowhere. Exactly. You know, I have to ask: Was money an object in any way? It was not a fundamental driver. So the notion was not there is a ceiling in price of what this and what follows it can cost. The notion was just let's make sensible decisions about using high quality products with a very high degree of craftsmanship. And how much does it all cost? So no idea. You know, if you want to pin it down, it's 
more than a Chevy station wagon and less than a 747. And there's an upstairs? There's an upstairs. In fact, there are two levels of upstairs. You can see the first level, the principal sleeping area, and then the next level above is my daughter's room. Uh, so it's a tent. Kira, can I come up, please? Yes. Thank you. Wow. This van could go anywhere in the world, pretty much. I know. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you choose to go? Um, Antarctica would be too cold. You think it'd be too cold? What, even in the van? No. The tent would be cold. Have you ever brought your friends up here? No. No? It's not finished. Oh, because it's not finished. Is it taking quite a long time to be finished? Yes, you... it's already been taking four years. Oh, not four years, God. Almost five years. Oh. But they must be very excited about the prospect of coming for a sleepover in your roof tent. I'm not allowed to have sleepovers. You're not allowed to have sleepovers. Fair enough. Is there any bit that you said, Daddy, if you're building this van, I need to have this thing? No. No? He just built it. He just built it. Kira, can you describe this van to me? No. I think this is going well. I can see you from the camera right now. What do all of these buttons do? Do you have any idea? No. No, I don't. It all looks quite complicated to me. There's another red button over here, Kira. I'm going to press it. Seriously, don't do it. Whoa. Whoa. I've turned it on. Shut the door. We're gonna go. You haven't. I have. I'm afraid we're going. Are you in or out? Out. Out. All right. While Bran had imagined the van for his baby, I was keen to meet the team at Applied Minds, for whom the Kira van itself was their baby. Applied Minds is a collection of very skilled, talented, creative people across a whole variety of different disciplines. We tend to work in that area that interests me, which is the intersection between art, design, science, and technology. How would you sum up Applied Minds? Applied Minds, uh, to me, is just a very creative uh, design, engineer, concept, R&D, rapid prototype, make tank. You've heard of Think Tank, right? We're a make tank. <laughs> a make tank. We're a make tank. Right. <laughs> if you Google something, um, the company MetaWeb, which we created at Applied Minds, was bought by Google to be used to give context sensitivity to how search is done. If you use a smartphone and it has the notion of multi-touch and inertia, ours was the first patent in that. Brian is a, he's a visionary, so we try to do our best to capture his visions. I'm originally from uh, Vietnam. We had to leave on a boat with 40 other people. And I came into this country, I was, I was almost 11 years old. And I, I was lucky, I got inspired by teachers. And I said, Michael, you need to go see our center. I said, what is that? And I fell in love with the school. I said, wow, this, this is where I want to be. And that's when Mercedes come, they, they dropped me as one of the designers. And I worked there for five years. I got to invent the smart car with them. Now seven million people are driving your design. Yeah. This is another vision brand has is the steering wheel. The technology is called a 360 awareness. So when you drive this vehicle, all this LED display, it actually changes color. They tell you where the fire truck coming from or where hazard. It'll actually light up and it vibrate the steering wheel. We are very interested in the future of vehicles and vehicle technology because we are poised at the first time in a hundred years to see the DNA of automobiles fundamentally change. This notion of autonomy, of self-driving vehicles, is the cornerstone of how our entire world is going to change. And it's going to happen in your lifetime and in my lifetime. And that's incredibly exciting. So from my perspective, the Kiravan is our internal research project, which allows us to evaluate and test out a whole bunch of relevant ideas, new concepts, and the practical implementation of technologies necessary to make that vision a reality. So if the Kira van is a step towards autonomous cars, would that make it a doddle to drive? Together, we're about to take our maiden voyage on the Kira Thrilling, van. Thrilling, isn't it? Thrilling stuff. For me, it is. 
I mean, how far have you driven well. it before? Well, in this configuration, it hasn't been driven at all. The whole crew is here because it's one step at a time as you commission a vehicle like this to um, see what works and what doesn't. Is that sort of how you imagine the maiden voyage of the Titanic? Totally. I'd rather think it's not the Titanic, but nonetheless, um, we'll find <laughs> out. Clutch is in, but it's not shifting it to the main register. Okay, push the left button in. Left push button's in. Forward one click with the clutch in. Not shifting. Yeah, it does not want to go under first. It's not going? Nope. Let's um, just reset again for a moment. Why don't we turn it off and on? I think the... Everything else is looking great. It seems to not like first gear. We could only go at five miles an hour due to a problem with the trailer suspension. But on our trip round the block, it did feel slightly like we were on a self-conscious catwalk at this speed. After a test drive around the block, mechanic Chris took the reins for the open roads. This wouldn't strain the van's exploration capabilities, but it would be a test of its other pulling power. It's comfortable up here. It's a nice ride. It's like you feel that you're in a cockpit, don't you? I feel like I ought to be doing something as your co-pilot. I've been driving this truck um, from the beginning stages before we did a lot of the transformation on it. Is it quite a straightforward thing to drive once you know how to no, do it? No, this is not your typical standard transmission. Yeah, we're, we're getting whistled, beeped, whistled. People are loving the caravan, aren't they? Oh, it's just a caravan. It's a bit like a caravan. You like it? Yeah? It's a go anywhere view. Go anywhere, exactly. Yeah. Go to the moon on this thing. Get it lifted. Okay, we'll, we'll build the next one higher. It's not 300 grand, is it? Hell no. It's that diesel smell. Yeah, it smells some diesel too. What's going on? No, that's diesel. We smelt that while we were coming over. That's I don't think this diesel leaking like mad. Here, let's get the hood up. Ready? So this is it, the ultimate expedition vehicle. Go anywhere in the world. We've driven two miles down the road from Applied Mines and we've broken down. There's diesel leaking all over the floor and everyone seems a little bit panicked. I guess in theory, you can go anywhere in the world in this van, but LA is a tough place after all. So no doubt, if it's gonna be challenged anywhere, it'll be challenged here. I'm just glad we're off the road because before then, everybody was saying, wow, what an amazing thing. I want one of those. And it would be a bit embarrassing had this have happened in a more public place. Hopefully we'll get it fixed soon. Is there anybody who's saying to you, come on now, Bran, you're going too far, you need to stop there and sort of be your design editor. If you think design is something where it's about reaching consensus, consensus thinking is poison to design. All you do is drive towards mediocrity. If you simply take everybody's input, average it out, it's not great at anything. So for me, I would rather move hard and strong in a bold direction a novel direction, take the chance of a complete failure and a disaster, then do something that's kind of okay. I mean, the world does not need more stuff that's kind of okay. You know, so often in school, it's you have to stop being a dreamer, you have to just, you know, learn to be practical and accept the world and all. This is all bullshit. You can actually make contributions to the world by specifically working on the things that you have passion for taking those dreams, dreaming more, and pushing in ways that sensible, quote unquote, people would never do. Applied Minds were quite anxious that we wouldn't include the Kira van in its undignified state. But I think if we've learned anything from Brian, it's that failure is a really important part of the creative process. I'm not sure if the Kira van will lead to a revolution in travel necessarily, but when you were watching the mechanics and artists and designers there all at work, you did get the impression that if they wanted to, they could probably create anything. And so I think for me, the most important lesson to take from the Kira van is that if we've got the capability of designing whatever future we want, 
then if we put the people who are most important to us at the centre of that design process, then that's probably going to be a pretty good place to start.